Hi, I'm Chris with Adventures in DIY. And this is a valet area to throw your sunglasses, keys, and cell phone in. It's uh, carved out from, well, it's made from a branch from my neighbor's tree. Let me show you how I made it. I got this branch of African sumac from my neighbor and uh, decided to try and rip it using this Japanese handsaw. There was this crazy looking piece left over that I couldn't just throw away. Don't judge me. Wood hoarding is a disease. I am currently seeking help. I didn't say I'm getting help, but I'm seeking it out. I used a hatchet to clean up the bark and some of the crazy bits that were sticking out. Safety time. Instead of using glasses and a dust mask, I'm gonna give this gas mask a try. In all seriousness, this carving attachment is a small chainsaw that can easily take a chunk out of you. Truthfully, I didn't know what I was gonna make from this thing, but uh, I just thought it'd be interesting to try and carve it out because those branch areas are a lot tighter to work in than the previous bowl that I made. It's getting pretty tight with the angle grinder, so I started taking some chunks out with the Forsner bit. Next, I started shaping the insides with some bench chisels. Apparently, I'm using this cheap set of carving chisels more than I thought. If you have some suggestions for some gouges, uh, please put them in the comment below. Uh, keep in mind that I might be able to afford a Cadillac, but definitely not a Lamborghini. I tried using some 2 inch sanding discs, but it was hard to work in those tight areas. The grain pattern was so crazy in some of these spots it was hard to get it smooth. What ended up working for me was scraping the areas. Of course I didn't have a curved scraper, so I had to make one out of some scrap stainless steel until the one I ordered came in. Man, I couldn't wait for that thing to come in. After cleaning up all the gouges with the scraper, I ended up sanding everything to 400 grit. The other sumac I have turned a dark red whenever it got exposed outside. I thought it'd be fun to see how dark this piece would get if I left it out for a day. I know this is a method used for darkening cherry, and it ended up making the wood exposed to the light a shade or two darker. I made this as part of Dominic Bender's Build Something From A Log Challenge. There'll be a link in the description below to a playlist where you can see all the entries. Um, there's some pretty fun stuff in there. And if I were to make this and it were the 70s or 80s, this would be my cigar ashtray. All you gotta do is where these keys are, a little hand hammered steel in there to catch those ashes. This would not be for my cell phone. This would be for a cigar. Anyway, I'd like to thank you for watching, and if you don't mind doing me a favor, please like, share, and subscribe, and check us out on the social media links below in the description. And if you don't watch these things to the end, there's almost always something goofy. Well, anyway, we'll see you next time, and most importantly, get out there and make something.